Hey everybody, call me Felix, and a couple of months ago we made a field trip to a farm in the town of Solsona, touting itself as the first rabbit farm way up north in the province of Ilocos Norte in the northwest Philippines. They don't just sell rabbits for pets, but they also sell rabbits for meat. While rabbit isn't a popular meat to cook with back home in the United States, hunters and outdoorsmen catch and cook wild rabbit, whereas here in the Philippines the general belief is rabbit is only a pet and not to be cooked. You can check out the comments of that video as evidence of this general backlash. You know, I forced myself to read all the comments one night under the Ludovico technique a la a clockwork orange, and hence why I remember traumatically that 40% of the comments were something along the lines of, quote unquote, I'm Filipino, but I don't eat rabbit, end quote. It's always nice to pull your viewers in a massive focus group of Filipinos who don't eat rabbit. Cousin JP and I happen to be Filipino Americans and we ate rabbit for that very video and that's 100% representation of rabbit eating Filipino Americans. Yay. All lighthearted humor aside, this here video is a serious recipe video taken from our field trip at the rabbit farm on how to make rabbit lechon. Because I want to emphasize the rabbit lechon and the cooking process behind it, I left out the rabbit dressing and butchery altogether. If you want to check out the original video, what I'll call our rabbit field trip overview, then feel free to click away and look on that worky, mighty, and despair. We had plenty to say about the rabbit lechon, and it took us 20 plus minutes of footage for JP and I to find the words, but I basically condensed all the highlights here. Keep on watching to find out what we really thought about the rabbit lechon, as we were really surprised in so many ways. <laughs> That's the rice I've been watching for. Have you tasted it? I've tasted it a few times before. The insect? This one? Oh, the soup? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really. Uh... <laughs> so, Manong, what did you already put in here? You put the Aldi Al. al what? What's it called? Uh, baranio. Baranio. Okay, baranio. baranio, which is the tanglad, which is the lemongrass. What's the other one? Uh, alagao. Alagao. Okay. And then lem uh, oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Paminta. Paminta so uh, pepper and salt. And now the main ingredient, the uh, pesta resistance. Enough. Oh. Who in the door? Wow. Who knew? Oh. Now you're massaging it. Did you put water in there? No. Is there soy sauce? Mm. Okay. Oh, it smells delicious already. Manon, did you ask him if you can find the brownie for me? He knows, but he doesn't have to. Let's try. First time to try that. Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, right. Oh, the flavor oh, injector. Some, some, some <laughs> Can you do so much? Yeah. So, Manon, no. When I have uh, my first uh, uh, rabbit chon, I did not put any injection. I did not inject. Only the leaves inside and the ingredients. Mm. So, so uh, the meat is not uh, totally that uh, flavorful. Tasty, yeah. uh -huh. So this way it will be more <laughs> flavorful with the injection. Oh, I'm going to go to the 
Oke, dari cuma kurun teh. Nanya teh ah. Oh, masih kun, bok asin. Seven hundred, seven hundred. Here we go. 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 Here
Have a safe trip, guys. Look like like we're in red eight. What's that? Uh, First time. It's a post to two. Three That looks amazing. Yeah, like that. Now, mind you, the inside of this is filled with lemongrass, the other basil mint herb and uh, the spices so and don't forget fun the door oh and fun the door fun the door brandy for extra sweetness yeah. so we with the adobo rabbit adobo i think it tasted more like chicken yeah. more like gamey chicken i'm really curious to see how this turns out and in fact if it has a little bit of a cebuano character just given the ingredients in there you know, and we had done a Cebu Gachun recently, so keeping that in mind, especially while trying this out. See how it compares. Let's see if the meat profile, the taste profile changes with the different uh, preparation. And different meat. Well, yeah. I mean, it's basically the same meat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so can you do that? Yeah. Whoa. That is, wow, that was delicious. You can see it's full white meat. <laughs> the steam coming off of it. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow, I'm really getting a lot of that um, lemongrass yeah. and the basil sort of smell. Delicious. Mm -hmm. So I'm really, yeah. It's uh, it's similar to the Cebu Lechon smell, but a lot more pronounced with the herbs, of course, because it's not balanced with the garlic and, you know, um, Star anise or what? Okay. 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 So let's look at that skin. Is that the belly? No. Yes, no. The belly. Oh, oh, this the is belly. the belly. Okay. So. So as you can see, as you expect, there's not a ton of fat in there. And then if you look how caked it is with those herbs. Okay. Plenty crispy enough. Well, I gotta give it a try. It's definitely not like porky. No. So it's like a chicken. Uh, was it like a lechon chicken, but with a cr crispiness? It's like a fresh. It's like a clean tasting lechon manok. Wow. It's so very nice. much like a hybrid between chicken taste, clean chicken taste, and then like lechon cri like pork crispiness oh. and such. Yeah. Crispy. It doesn't crunch through like a chicharron though. It's a little chewier. Mm. It, doesn't, it doesn't crunch through. How about your piece? I can taste all the the flavors of the in the lemongrass. But yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. So it's crispy, but not like not chunk crispy. Yes. Because it's missing the the fat content. Yes, it's missing the fat. But so it's healthier. Yeah, it's much healthier. And it's really tasty though. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm. I mean, like some manok, I mean, you don't generally get a crispy seed. I mean, how could you? So it's practically like the best of both worlds. If you want something that's clean. I'll try this again. And then you'll get some of that meat later, but let's try some more. I can feel, of course, that it's kind of like... Because it's lean... This might sound a little weird, but it kind of has like an, a pig ear-like texture, but not like... glassy that you can feel, but it feels like... yeah. And of course, caked with all those herbs. So, compared to the adobo, what do you think? This one or the adobo? Let me try the meat first. Okay. Oh, that baranyu! Add some mintiness that we didn't get from our Cebu pork lechon. Sir Jonathan said he's never tried it with the infusion of all the herbs in it, so he'd like to try that. To mm. see it because he he firmly believes that the adobo is better than the lechon. But I, I already tasted just a piece, and I think that's better than adobo. So, I, and I haven't had the meat yet. Okay. It's just my, my opinion. This is me. Things I like about the adobo. 
Yep. It's very, um, it's a robust chicken adobo. It almost tastes a bit like beef jerky, but yeah. relatively clean. Yeah. Um, I really love all the ginger, the black pepper, it all seeps into. I think if I, if it were me, if I would probably tone down the ginger a little bit yeah, because kind of like after a while, it got a bit, a little Stronger. too spicy, yeah. a little too strong. Especially with ginger, I think it's a stronger condiment to be using anyway. So I think if you tone down down a little bit, I think it's perfect. Rabbit chun. What do you think? Tastes different. Tasty. Tastes different? Yeah, yeah. Better than the adobo? Uh, <laughs> I think he's not convinced, is he? Yeah. He's not. He loves the adobo. The first time I... Uh, have this rabbit lechon, uh, I did not put any uh, ingredients like that. Ah, I did not eat that's any. why. Part is so but, good. Yeah. Mm. Good. You really love it. Wow. Mm. Okay, I got a big fat piece with the lemongrass right there. I was not expecting that meat to be like white meat tender. Is that, there's some Jeez. juiciness. It's delicious. Mm. This is going to taste, this is going to be a little weird. But. It really does taste as if pork and chicken came together. Mm -hmm. And just it? like with that tenderness, yeah. yeah. A chicken yeah. pig. I think just like with the rabbit adobo, you kind of have to let it swim in your mouth a little bit. Because the thing is, rabbit has a lot of bones. So, you gotta be careful about perusing your tongue and your mouth around eating that. The other thing is, I didn't think I would get like dark meat taste and texture out of this. Yeah, it is really amazing. I think this is the leg. It's not gamey either, but. What's that? What's that? What's that? How about you, Warren? What do you think? Honestly, what do you think? Yeah. Honestly, it's good. It's good. What do you like about it? Like chicken, chicken and pork. It's really like I'm chicken gonna, and pork. Like they did this, the chicken and pork, and it turned out to be that. For me, like chicken. Really? Yeah. But it's more tender. Yes, a little more juicy, a little more tender. But there are pieces where they're a little bit more dense. Delicious. So rabbit, I think, is yeah. really nuanced in texture. There's some dense pieces, and then I get some tender pieces that are juicy. I never would have thought. They, like even dark a meat. Pleasant <laughs> surprise, honestly. I mean, there's I even say, like dark yeah. meat taste and dark meat texture out of this. Kind it's of like, like a I mean, dark meat everything. chicken. Yeah, it's like a mixture of dark meat, white meat, chicken, pork, mm -hmm. put together, and then the flavors really were soaked up. Mm -hmm days that leg almost tastes a little bit like duck without the gaminess oh, too really? a little bit uh, I, I can believe this is a little bit like duck not not like over the top with like that rich you know like that rich savoriness and gaminess that comes from duck i just get a little bit of that in the in in this I rabbit like leg yeah, I any downsides to it this like legs a little too chewy? dense and chewy though. You think it's the because of the fat different. contents less? Yeah, it could okay, be. So, so guys, here's the deal. Um, you can't have it all, right? If it's gonna be healthy, it's gonna be less crunchy because the fat contents a little bit less. The chon has a big fat content, which means that it's gonna be really crispy. So this is a healthier alter alternative. It's also a um, alternative, what, protein? As opposed to chicken, chicken or pork. pork, beef, and mm -hmm. a healthier, a healthier, 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 organic, of course, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's organic. So I mean, you can't beat it, right? Um, but the good news is there's a lot of flavor infused into oh it. Oh gosh, yeah. So even For if days. this piece is a little bit tough, it's kind of like you know, yeah, it's like a meat lollipop. <laughs> meat lollipop. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> Because you have to keep chewing, and the more you get it in your mouth, you get more of the flavor. Mm. Is it good? Don't lie. No, it's, <laughs> it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's even like... 
There's even like a little bit of a turkey sort of texture too in the leg. It's just so weird. Yeah. I, mean, I guess trying something really new, guys. Like turkey breast, but uh, without the turkey taste. I'm, I'm like engaging you all to really try something new. Mm -hmm. Don't try something once in your life. Don't like, you know, think, oh, this is gross. This is whatever. Rabbit meat is actually pretty decent. It's uh, sustainable. <laughs> it's low fat. <laughs> it's organic. It's actually pretty decent. And I just want to say sustainable and because. Be and I say sustainable, especially because they reproduce like, you know, rabbits. Mm -hmm. Because they are rabbits. They reproduce like crazy. So that's the reason why they're sustainable. So. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so thank you to Sir Sir Jonathan for having us. My mm -hmm. gosh, we had a wonderful time. We had, um, we, we had a great day of, of touring your farm. Yeah, and we had my secretary. <laughs> Thank you so much for for letting us come into your home and showing us your rabbits, your <laughs> chickens, the, your eggs. Not yeah, like, not like that, but his. You know what? Maybe some organic eggs. Maybe sometime <laughs> we'll, we'll get. Maybe sometime we'll get to do that on another video, right? right. So um, get some feedback from him. From him on a, oh, Sir, Sir Jonathan, you have anything to say? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Sir Jonathan's the. Is the is was a former mayor and he's he's still a mayor. He's very humble, might I say. So he's busy. <laughs> no, that's why he's a mayor. And, and in spite of that, he still had us here. And he's been here the whole day. So thank you, Sir Jonathan, for doing that. Oh yeah, set up everything here. Even this tarpaulin here and yeah, all these tables. Very um, accommodating. Thank you so much, Sir mm -hmm. Jonathan. Anything to say to? Uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. let's try rabbit and uh, uh, it tastes good. I thought that the is better, but uh, no, it's not. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> the lechon's better. Lechon is better. Uh, oh, so finally, the, you said it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't take we much. Made it, we made him change his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. So we had a crazy day. I really don't know how I'm going to sort this vlog out in some way. Because I think this review video has gone in its own path. So, um, if you like this video, especially the series on rabbits, you know, eating rabbits and, you know, how they're farmed and how so on. How they multiply. And how they multiply. Yeah, yeah there's <laughs> a video for that too. Um, give a like. Better yet, please subscribe for more content. Um, maybe we'll come back here again to see the chickens because there are some really cool chickens here. Um, I think there's a plan to see the black chicken soon. Oh yeah, so. the black chicken. I should tell you about the the famous black chicken that's here. Foreboding. Mm-hmm. Foreboding. Yes. Um. So we had an awesome time here, hanging out all day with Sir Jonathan and his all lovely staff as well, making all this these rabbit dishes and pretty much trying to convert us into enjoying rabbit, and we're trying to spread the word for them as well. Right? I think we're I think we're sold on this one, yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So Delicious. That in mind, you know, leave a comment what you think as well. So like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And until the next time, remember, Empire never ended. <laughs>